And he goes, no, that's the problem. He goes, my toe is twitching. And when my toe twitches, that means we have a freeze coming. And my eyes got this big, and I'm like trying not to make my eyes big, so I'm like trying to squint my eyes, but they're getting bigger as I'm squinting, and I'm, I just feel like my eyes are doing like some kind of like, they're starting to turn this way over here, and I'm thinking, this over here is the one that has babies. Sweetie, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, sweet girl? Are you okay? I didn't bring more food. I can go in and buy you one, though. Let me run in there and get her a sandwich, too, because look what they're doing over here. They're going through the trash, and they're pulling everything out. Baby, you feeling okay? Walk over here out of the way for me, okay? Let's walk out of the way. We're going to go over here and feed her. So, it's not the most nutritious of meals. So, there he goes, the dog. We all know it's Santa. Here he is. So, that's not Santa. Santa, but that should, that could certainly be Moose's daddy. <laughs> I don't know. But that's not the original Santa. You still feel bad for him, though. There we go. All right. He's good, y'all. He's good. Be careful out here. Hey folks, Lester here. Uh, who would have known it could be 85 degrees on an overcast day here at the end of February? Makes you really worry about what's going to happen this summer. But um, doing uh, my rounds, doing a couple of feed ups of the uh, neighborhood dogs today, I ran across that one sweet girl that was pregnant there at the store. And she, and who I thought was Santa, was digging through the trash, which maybe just, just broke my heart. So I got them some sandwiches. And uh, I know it's not per it's not ideal, but it's better than doing nothing, y'all. It's better than doing nothing. And if nothing else, it gives them a meal in their belly for the day. I uh, got an email from a lady who talked about something that she witnessed in her neighborhood a litter of puppies just like our babies born on the streets in a culvert in a road ditch and at some point one of the puppies died either run over or sick whatever and all of the other puppies were coming out and eating off of its sibling that's how hungry they were you know, animals get to a certain age and mama's milk is not no longer enough. They need sustenance. And I just felt so horrible to sit there and, you know, we love Christmas and we love her baby so much. And just to think that there's a, a litter of puppies somewhere who are so hungry that they're having to eat off of the, you know, one of their siblings who's, who's passed. And that just breaks my heart. So, anyway, that's, I don't even like to think about it. But we're so blessed for the babies that we have. And so blessed for Christmas and all the joy that she's brought to our life. Anywho. Talk about all the puppy love. Look at this mess they've made. Uh -huh. Look at this horrible, horrible mess they've made. You don't show this part, Lester. Well, if I weren't making a video about puppies uh, on the street, then I wouldn't show this. But these here, they've made our shop look about homeless. <laughs> they've made our shop look just about like a homeless place. <laughs> yeah, but look at all the love they get. I don't know. They're all so special. They are. It's going to be hard to get move them along when mm -hmm. it's time. I know. We only have like three weeks. You know that, right? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing hiding behind you, you little homeless? You look like you're homeless in there. Look at that one out there playing homeless. Yeah. Uh, we don't role play homeless. <laughs> Sitting amongst, hiding behind trash cans. Yeah. Oh. So we have made our way to the hay sales. Uh, now listen, we have plenty of hay for our cows. And even our horses over at I'm a Survivor are very content with that hay. But per vet's orders, Dixie has to have a special kind of hay. It's called Coastal. And this is our third time coming over here to get it. These guys are really nice. 
and uh, good service, great hay. We haven't had any issues whatsoever. And so they've even given us a couple of freebies along the way. Let's see if we can come in here now and grab us a roll and be on our way over to Longhorn Lester's. But yeah. Um, all right, so you're telling me you have three prices, all on coastal hay, mm -hmm. and I says, you says 160, 170, 180. Yes, sir. And I'm curious, like, what's the what's the difference in price and the reason, why? Reason why we're most of our stuff's coming out of state now because okay. because of the drought and everything. It's okay. Just, it's hard to get hay. Yeah, we and, knew that was going to happen. Yeah, and what it is is a different quality. Um, okay. Yeah, like I said, the one seventies, they're four by or four by fives, and they're about eleven hundred pounds, twelve hundred pound rolls. Okay. You can't fit it long ways, and if I put it in here, I put it long ways, not this way. Okay. Uh, my one eighties, it's the primo of the top it's really good hey <laughs> <laughs> i like facial expressions hey let's go with the 180 because we have a horse that the vet orders yes sir. we need the good coastal clean stuff yeah this is really good it's really good clean hay sounds yeah. great brother we'll yes, take one of those in so he was saying that he has a bad feeling about something i says what wait don't don't scare me what's wrong what's the bad feeling he said he can feel his toe twitching And I'm thinking, where's this going, man? Where's, I didn't say anything, but I'm thinking, where's this going? And he said, you see all this green grass prop, you know, popping out all over the place? I'm like, oh, yeah, man, it's looking good. He's, like, pointing at all these trees, got a little bit of green. Show him, like, yes, sir, I can't wait for some spring weather, you know, and get off this hay. And he goes, no, that's the problem. He goes, my toe is twitching. And when my toe twitches, that means we have a freeze coming. And my eyes got this big, and I'm, like, trying not to make my eyes big, so I'm, like, trying to squeeze squint my eyes but they're getting bigger as i'm squinting and I'm, i just feel like my eyes are doing like some kind of like they're starting to turn this way over here and i'm thinking i don't want to have another freeze because a freeze in march after everything's starting to already bloom and all the grass is coming up nice and pretty and green it's going to set everything back and so i don't like that toe twitching i'm going to tell him that too i'm going to tell him i don't like that toe twitching here he comes now now he says this is the best hay our horse is gonna eat. The best stuff you can buy. I don't know about that, but we will find out. We will find out. Dixie eats slow. Her and Beverly eat really slow. And it's okay. Man, it's barely gonna fit in there. It might not. Look at this. I should have brought the big truck, I guess. God, whoa, that is a heck of a roll of hay. Man, that's a heck of a roll of hay. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm gonna be low riding it all the way back to Longhorn Lester's. But that is some good looking hay, y'all, look at that. Wow, it's wound nice and tight, that's good stuff. That's beautiful. I should have brought the big truck, I'm thinking. I just now said I don't like your toe twitching, though. <laughs> Nothing against your toes. I'm sure you have lovely feet. But I don't like it when toes start twitching, meaning it cold is. weather's coming. Yeah, when the bad weather comes, <laughs> it does. Oh, man. Well, brother, we appreciate it, man. Thank you, Thank you man. Appreciate you, we'll see you next time. You have a great day. I like guys like him. I do. I know I... Uh, I don't really have a lot of friends, like people that I call friends, like those that you know will have your back. Now, I mean, in the real world, I'm not talking about you. I know we're all, we're family, y'all, we're family. But as far as friends go, and like, I mean, I will talk. I, I've learned, and I've learned the hard way, that there's a definite difference between friends and acquaintances. And so when you find somebody who just seems to be real genuine and that fella has no reason, he has no reason for being as kind to us as he has been. He's not making any money. You know, he's not getting any extra customers because of, you know, being in a video. He's just a good guy. And if I pull in here and there's a line of people in front of me, he will talk and be just as amicable to anybody, black, white, or brown, no matter what they're driving, no matter, no, he don't care. He's just a good hearted man. And I like that. I, 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 I like that in people. 
So we're going to make our way back to Longhorn Lester's. We're going to be driving slow. I promise you that because I don't want to end up tearing up this truck. Uh, remind me next time to bring the big truck. You know, we bought that big truck for a reason for stuff like this. And I don't know why in the world. I do know why. I do know why I brought this truck because tomorrow is Millie and Fiona's vet appointment and I had to have this truck because they're not riding the, <laughs> they're not going to ride in the big truck. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. But they shed their hair like, look at me, hair flying all over the place. Dixie got some fresh water and a beautiful, beautiful clean roll of hay. That cost $180. Y'all better take care of it. You okay, sweetie? <laughs> Beverly, I hear you. I hear you, sweetie. You like that, that new hay? Is it delicious, baby? They don't like being in the small pasture. They don't like having to be in a small pasture, but this really is for Dixie's best health. This hay looks delicious. <laughs> Beverly thinks so. Dixie won't even walk over here. She's so upset. She's so mad. She's so mad she wouldn't even walk over here. How is it, love? Have you tried any yet? Carl, please. Carl's upset because no one got him anything special today. Carl, you have Debbie. That's what's special. Look, that's your special girl over there. You don't need anything else. <laughs> you don't deserve anything else, Carl. Get over there and love Debbie. Carl, just get over there and love Debbie. Carl, just get over. All right, let me out, goat. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Carl be a mean. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.